What's going on guys and welcome to another exotic review of some armor for the Titan. So with the Curse of the Osiris came a whole bunch of new exotics. The first exotic armor piece that I got was the Helm of Sate 14. That's right, they brought it back from Destiny 1 and it looks very similar as you can see. We've got the uh, glowing glowing pink light down the center with the all uh, metal metal plates on it. And then of course you got the, uh, the little the feathery mohawk. So that's on there, and the exotic perk of this, very similar to what we're used to, with a little twist on it. Your Ward of Dawn blinds enemies that enter it. Guarding with Sentinel Shield temporarily blinds enemies, uh, blinds nearby enemies. So I took this thing into some patrols. I wanted to try this thing out. I wanted to see how well it worked. Uh, and it does exactly what you would expect it to do. It's very similar to how it worked in uh, Destiny 1. So once you pop your Ward of Dawn, you've got that bubble for 30 seconds and any enemy that does enter that Ward of Dawn is going to become blind or stunned, however you want to say it. They're going to walk around with their hands, arms, whatever you want, over their eyes and you are free to kill them. Great uh, pairing this with a shotgun or if you got a ton of uh, melee damage or something, some, some kind of extra melee damage somehow. Uh, I don't know how you would do that, but that would work out very well too. I end up just running around and punching all the enemies when I am doing this. So, first first part of this perk works exactly as it says. Ward of Dawn will blind enemies. Now, the problem with that is that you uh, lose your shield. You lose the ability to throw the shield. So, you're going to be using this as totally um, as a, like, uh, you're going to be a, a support class. You're going to be really just trying to help defend, and that's it. Uh, you can't then go in and throw your shield because you totally lose your super, that's it. You just pop your bubble and you are done. Now as far as the second part of this perk, I did try it out using the uh, guard ability with the shield. And I didn't get it to proc, I don't think, every time. I definitely did get it to work where uh, you just you kind of like tap the, uh, tap the block button and you could see a little ring go around you and I guess if there's an enemy in that ring around you, uh, they will become blind. Now, I noticed it did not seem to work every single time. Uh, I did get it to work sometimes, but it was not nearly as re uh, reliable as if you were using the Ward of Dawn. So that's great. This thing works exactly how it's supposed to, but uh, let's talk about a little bit of a comparison here. You've got three different exotics that are geared for the Sentinel Titan. So next up, we're going to compare it with the other helmet that you can use, and that is the Mask of the Quiet One. So the Mask of the Quiet One has the exotic perk on it called uh, Dreaded Visage. Visage, I think that's how it's called, how it's pronounced. Grants melee grenade and class ability energy when damaged, and void ability kills grant health regeneration. Sounds awesome, right? So as you get damaged, you're going to get melee grenade and class abilities and then you can use that to get kills and that's going to help regen and that's going to grant health regeneration well i don't totally agree with what this perk says so let's talk about it. let's take a look at this thing uh so the problem is you need to go out and you need to take damage for this thing to actually work in your favor well lucky for me that's not hard to do i'm constantly taking damage but it really doesn't speed up the melee grenade class ability too much from what I can tell. It basically ticks it up a little bit quicker. So eh, we'll say it helps. It helps a little bit. But then, you know, throwing a grenade at an enemy and killing it says I should grant health regeneration. Well, it doesn't really do that. It gives you a little bit of health back. I wouldn't even say a quarter of your health. It just gives you a little bit of health back into your health bar. Um, so, I don't know, This the only thing this thing really has going for it is its crazy look. Crazy look with the massive horns and the, uh, chain, the chain face on it. Otherwise, I mean the perks are awesome if they did it exactly how they said they should. So, basically a grenade kill or a void melee would regenerate, regen your health, not just give you a sliver of health back from my opinion. Uh, so yeah, that's the Mask of the Quiet One. Well, guess what? There's also one more and there are some gauntlets. So that's going to be the Doom Fang Pauldron. Pauldron. I don't know how you say that. These things also look pretty awesome. 
So I'm gonna say right off the bat, I think the Sentinel Titan has the three, or has the best, as far as comparing all of them, looking exotics. You know, these things got the glowing, glowing purple horns, and then you got like the purple slime all over the, the uh, gloves right there, all over the sleeves. But let's take a look at the exotic part on this thing. So we've got Horns of Doom. Shield Bash Melee kills Recharge Shield Throw. Melee ability kills Recharge Sentinel Super Shield, or Shield Super. So, this thing is all about throwing your shield. If you're going in as a Sentinel Titan and you want to be offensive, you want to go in, you want to you know, do some attacking, this is what you want to use. Compared to the other two, this thing is going to just give you the most amount of shields, uh, throw your shield, hit an enemy with a melee attack, you basically get your, your next shield up and ready to go. So you can constantly throw shield, melee attack, throw shield, melee attack. This thing is uh, perfect for that. So how do these all compare to each other? How do these all stack up? Well, I'm going to rank them for you, in my opinion, and it's a little bit conditional. Unfortunately, the uh, Mask of the Quiet one with crazy looking horns, my favorite looking out of all three of these, that's going to get the bottom of the barrel just because the perk doesn't work as well as it's supposed to, in my opinion. It says health regeneration, but you don't really get health regeneration, you just get a sliver of health back. If it actually regened your health completely all the way up to full health, then we'd be talking a little bit differently, but that's about it. So next up, it really comes down to how you want to play as your Sentinel Titan. Do you want to play offensively or do you want to play defensively? Me, I like to play offensively. So that means coming in at number two is going to be the Helm of Saint 14. This thing uh, works very well, does exactly what it's going to say. And if you are playing defensively and you want to pop that War of Dawn, this thing is going to give your fire team or everybody else around you a really good cover spot and any enemy that comes in is going to be blinded for a good amount of time because it takes them a while to get out of this bubble and even once they do get out they do not lose that blindness right away they still stagger around a little bit giving you plenty of time to kill them and the fact that your bubble will last a full 30 seconds that's a good amount of time that is definitely a good amount of time but number one we've got the doom fang paladin uh, for me, like I said, I love throwing that shield around. I love playing Captain America as it's been uh, coined by the community. And these things are just a blast to use. They're so much fun. And you just get to use so many shields. And uh, your super gets to extend as well as part of that exotic perk. So at the end of every exotic review, you guys know what it's all about. Do we keep these on us or do we store them in the vault? Well, after I actually did this review, uh, things are going to change. So I've had the Doom, or I've had the, uh, what's it called? Mask of the Quiet one. I've had the Mask of the Quiet one on me ever since I got it. It was, my, uh, it was actually my first exotic that I actually got as an engram. First one in the game. I think you get it from Zavala after you complete the story. Well, after I see how the perks on this thing don't really work, I'm going to store this thing in the vault and I'll just be holding on to my Helm of Saint 14 as far as my helmet for a uh, Sentinel Titan. And of course, the Doomfang Paladin definitely going to be holding on to those gauntlets. They're going to be staying on me. They were the first exotic I picked up in the story mission as I ran through with my Titan and I've never looked back since. So two out of three, I'm going to keep these on me. The other one, sorry, going to hang out in the vault. Guys, let me know if you agree or disagree with how I rank these, if, uh, how you like the uh, Helm of Saint 14, if you've got it, if you've gotten it since the Curse of Osiris has dropped, I feel like I got pretty lucky. It was the first, like I said, the first exotic piece of armor I got from Curse of Osiris. But that's it, guys. That's all I got to say about that. Those are the uh, Sentinel Titan exotics and what I think about them. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.